Hey, Emma, congratulations on taking pole. I know that Checo looked quick through qualifying, so you must be delighted to have got it done when it mattered. Yeah, I mean, uh, my qualifying was a bit up and down. You know, Q1 was good. Um, then in Q2, with a new tyre set, I just had no rear grip, which was very weird. And then I put another tyre set on and everything was fine again. And then both, of course, both laps in Q3, Q3 were good. But it was a little bit hectic because um, the first run in Q3, I wanted to start up the, the engine and everything just switched off. Like I couldn't even talk, black screen. So we had to reboot the car. Um, so that was a bit hectic, but all in all, uh, yeah, we we, uh, we still did a good job. So I'm very happy for the whole team, you know, first and second, exactly what we wanted, um, because we know that Czech was fighting for second with Charles and we are ahead. So hopefully we can keep that up uh, tomorrow. Yeah, I heard you on Team Radio talking about the teamwork as well, and Czech was grateful for the help that you gave him. Was it just a, was it a toe and just working together in that session? Yeah, we, we gave him the option, you know, like, what do you want? You want to be in front or behind? Uh, he chose to be behind. So the plan was, of course, two, two times in Q3, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, my car just switched off, oh, so yeah. the first one I couldn't do it. But then, luckily, the second one is the one normally which counts, yeah. you know. And there we we made it work. Hey, Ashal, there was nothing in it to get that front row today. How does it feel to just miss out? Uh, well, it feels a bit disappointing. Uh, only 200s, I think. But yeah, I'm happy with the lap. I don't think there was much more into it. Um, didn't have anybody in front, which maybe cost me a little bit uh, in uh, in Q3. But to be honest, it was my choice because I just wanted to clean out lap, a uh, clean out lap. Um, but it's like this. I mean, P3 is a really good position to start in tomorrow, um, and uh, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to pass Checo very early on. Like you said, you're right in the mix. I know Deg's been quite high here, and it's looking unpredictable for tomorrow. And that's an area that maybe you struggled. How are you feeling about the race generally tomorrow? I think we did a step forward this morning, uh, but we didn't have any reference this morning, so we don't know how much better it is compared to Friday. Um, so I'm not sure. Let's see. But uh, yeah, I'm confident we did a step forward. Uh, how much, we'll have to wait and see. And uh, it's going to be a very close battle with Checo, I'm sure. And if there's an opportunity, I'll go for it.